A diesel particulate filter, also known as a DPF, has been a commonplace feature of diesel vehicle exhaust systems since around 2004. It is an emissions control device that reduces the amount of harmful particulate matter, or soot, that is created during internal combustion before it is expelled into the atmosphere within exhaust gases. Because fuel and air do not mix as thoroughly in diesel engines as they do in petrol engines, fuel-dense pockets produce soot when ignited. This soot is a byproduct of incomplete combustion. A DPF works by capturing and containing these soot particles inside the filter. Unlike a catalytic converter, it is not a flow-through device. From the engine, exhaust gases containing soot enter the DPF. The DPF has channels which are closed off at alternate ends. The walls of these channels are porous. Because these channels are porous, they allow gases to pass through whilst trapping the particulate matter that is deposited against the walls and retained inside the filter. This filtering process means that cleaner exhaust gases will exit the DPF before eventually being expelled from the vehicle's tailpipe. The engine control unit, otherwise known as the ECU, constantly monitors pressure and temperature and will initiate a process called regeneration once that levels inside the filter reach its allowed limit. This helps prevent the DPF from blocking. During regeneration, the trapped particles are essentially burned off and converted into carbon dioxide. There are three types of regeneration, passive, active and forced. Passive regeneration is a process of soot reduction via natural conversion. It occurs when ideal driving conditions apply, allowing the DPF to become hot enough to burn off trapped particulates naturally. An example of an ideal driving condition for this is motorway driving, or around 60 miles per hour for approximately 15 minutes. Active regeneration is an ECU-led process initiated when the amount of soot gathered in the DPF reaches a predefined level, often less than 50% of the total capacity of the DPF. Typically, once the level is reached, the engine management system triggers a process of post-combustion fuel injection to increase the temperature of the exhaust, initiating the regeneration process. Forced regeneration is carried out by garages with specialist diagnostic equipment and involves very high temperatures. This would only be done if a DPF can no longer be regenerated by passive or active means and is dependent on the level of soot accumulation. Not only does regeneration help prevent blockages, but it's integral to the function of the DPF and therefore the vehicle. The ECU may trigger vehicles into limp mode to protect other components if it senses that the DPF is becoming blocked and present other engine management lights or fault codes. It's important to note that a DPF containing soot means that the DPF is operating effectively but a blocked DPF indicates a vehicle issue which is failing to initiate the regeneration process.